Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civ 5 as uh, Persia, yeah. Uh, difficulty level 7, uh, where we last left off. Um, well, it's uh, two turns ago. Uh, my computer crashed, unfortunately. Well, not my computer, the game. And uh, so this is t two turns later. And uh, yeah, I did that because that's where my last autosave was. And uh, also the fact that these turns take so long in between that I thought this would be just help for the speed of the game. What do you want? Ah yes, I remember this. He's ta asking me again. Um, I have no interest in this arrangement and if it was the Germans I'd be tuning, uh, saying a different story because it is they're weak. They're just weak. So I'm not scared of them at all. But I have no intention of making anyone think I'm at war with anyone. However, I don't want to tick off Germany. We have four more turns till we can upgrade our units at a relatively cheaper cost. Everyone's made peace now that. Jeez, that's a lot of people who are fighting. A lot of city states. think you're going how many workers do we actually have three workers okay yeah, we're gonna get rid of one and we are out of the golden age and I did look up that trophy that I got. It is uh, five golden ages with Darius. Um, so that's cool. And 53 gold per turn. You delete. Save me some more gold per turn. Next turn. And next turn. Oh, Isabella's completed the Apollo program. We need to stop doing tech stuff with her. The night is f Stuff to Japan has ended. Okay. Finish the Pentagon. We do have it, right? I think I might have clicked right through it. Pentagon. Yay. Return to map. Choose production. You build a jet fighter. I'd rather wait for the stealth bomber. I'm build like two stealth bombers. So build me research. Just for this turn. And okay, let's take a look at our demographics. We have a fifth strongest military force, which is very weak considering that there's only one other civ below us. So we have the second weakest army in the world. And it's at 1,028. Well, let's upgrade them. We'll upgrade everybody we can. And just go down this line. At only 90 gold, though, we should be able to do quite a bit just for this first upgrade. Very cheap. I'm glad I waited. I've got a lot of upgrading to do. I'll have to upgrade for like the next two turns as well.
So that roughly cost me about 15,000 gold. So it would cost me about 3,000 gold to upgrade all my units. Just this one time. So I got enough to hopefully upgrade them again as well. And let's just take a quick look and see what that round of upgrading did. It still says I have the same amount. Maybe it doesn't kick until next turn. Or maybe that's just your amount of units you have. Not even taking into the fact like what kind they are. Which is kind of dumb. Because really weak army... A really large number of units can lose to more advanced units quite easily. Especially if you have a lot of ranged units. In nothing do men okay, we got approach. penicillin. Let's go down this way again. And let's see if it did change. Yeah, 159. We still have a really weak army, actually. But... We'll see what happens after it kicks in again. Because I'm going to have to upgrade. I can upgrade them like all the way to mechanized infantry too if I have the money. Like that one I just did. Hold on. I'm going in. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Upgrade. 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 Because I had 5,000 gold. So, however much this takes, it would have taken twice as much if I didn't wait till I got the Pentagon. I've already used 3,000, so it'd be like 6,000 gold to upgrade all these units so far. That's a lot of gold. <laughs> um, we're going to take the happiness because that will also give us a little bit more culture. And our next research. Um, let's get rock ecology. No. No, not ecology. Let's open texture. Well, I'm going culturally. We should probably focus heart mainly on culturally. I do have enough army to hold off just about anything. Large enough army. So. What do we have to culturally help me? The only thing left is globalization, so we get the Sydney Opera House. So we're going to go down that route. You build the medical lab. You build the medical lab. I put you on a default focus. Actually, that helps my culture quite a bit, too. Set up for range. Alert. Set up for range. Alert. Oh, I didn't upgrade this cannon. Fail. Set up for range. Alert. Set up for range. Alert. Next turn. I think it was 135 or 50 ish. I don't remember where it was. But let's see where it is now. Yep. You're dead, dude. Nice knowing you. Eight thousand? That's weird. But yeah, so we're like super weak compared to Bismarck. Um, let's take a quick look at our demographics. I did not tell you to do that. Darn it. Still in fifth. 186. Alert. Oh, well. You move back. I have to wait another turn to upgrade you. Upgrade. I'm not going to be able to upgrade all my units. Thank. Alright, who's got gold? I have enough happiness. 
to spare some resources. Oh. Oh. I actually have some extra ones to trade. Nebuchadnezzar. Nishtatati. Minuterish. Three hundred. Iga. Who else has gold? Isabella. Saludos. Proseguí. Nine hundred gold. Muy bien. So I had approximately six thousand gold after almost completely fully upgrading my army minus one unit. I have spent forty-five thousand gold, so which means it would have cost about nine thousand gold to upgrade all my units. Wow. Set it for ranged. Alert. I almost want Germany to attack me. Because I want to see like if I can hold them off. And here come his units. I should be more advanced than the majority of his army though. Two turns to upgrade you. Alert. 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 And our military is now... Actually, we're in fourth. We actually have a better military than Japan, I think. That's who was next, but we're actually in first in literacy. Yeah. We're on the lower end of the pack than everywhere else, though. Okay, you. Upgrade. Don't care. You grew. I'll put you on a culture focus. It does like nothing. You're like, you're taxing, you've got every single square on. You're doing every single square, which is why. Okay, so we've already got all the culture buildings used up. Then I guess we'll focus on production. And how is your engineer coming along? Good. We should have have a. Hopefully, we'll have him by the time we get the Sydney Opera House coming. Do you have people working? You need more people. You need to grow, but that really adversely affects your production and your culture, so I don't want that. So, next turn. Japan denounces Babylon. Who cares? I mean, like, seriously, who does? Because that's not surprising at all. Because you've been at war. Okay, so our, our army is fully upgraded this time. Let's just take a quick peek at the demographics. We are in fourth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stronger military than us. Stronger military. So they can't wipe us off the face of the earth. Yeah, no one can wipe us off the face of the earth. Japan has a roughly the same strength. I think I'm slightly higher. But that could be because he has a ton of military units. I have more advanced ones. Because I think he's technologically behind. He just has a lot of cities. Which is funny. Sorry. 
I kind of want someone to attack me though, because I got like it's like I got a perfect defense. But at the same time, it's kind of like, well, I don't want to ruin this because this is my last attempt. I'm not going to try this again. I've gotten in this game. I've gotten so far. This is probably as close as I'm ever going to get because no one's declared war on me. Um, research. Next turn. Great artist. Well, I kind of want that uranium. So, we're going to push their borders some. We're going to make sure we're actually not... Because I think we could... They'll look at war if they get to beyond 60. So, I'm going to give them a gift of gold to make them less angry at me. So, that they won't declare war. Because I really don't want to have to defend that front. Because that's the last front I wanted to defend them by. And hopefully I'll get another great artist too, because that's what I'll need. Espero que este trato reciba su bendición. No, and I'm definitely not doing a research agreement with you because you're scaring me with your tech. I'm doing. I'm going as culturally fast as I can. Um, you know what? Build the theater. Um, that happiness will give us a little bit more culture. I'll build the theater here too. We don't have a ton of gold per turn, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, I'll press that, let's go on a gold focus instead, because I don't really need the text anymore after the next two. Choose production. I could keep going. Yeah, go ahead. Build the stadium. Nothing else to build. I'm being such a jerk. I'm just cultured bombing. Oh, I feel so sorry. No, but seriously though. Like, I wonder if I could just take it over culturally. That'd be awesome. Okay, next great artist, I can take it over. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Nationalism, yes, because if we get attacked, that will be a great help to me. I wonder why my culture shot down so fast. So it was at 320. Choose production. Build the stadium. Next turn. Dun 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 dun. Okay, you've grown. You probably have a. A new citizen. Who I will use. Okay. Next turn. I wonder if I take over every single tile of the uh, city-state. Does that mean that I get the city-state? This should be a way to culturally flip some another uh, another city. I 
I wonder if they did something where like if you can you can get culture bond, but you can buy back the tiles if they're within two tiles of Only your city. Within the moment of time, Not the third tile, but the two tiles it. or something like that, or maybe just one tile or something. But made it like really expensive or something. Just kind of like changing it up a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Let's see, so thirteen turns until I can build this in the opera house. Es wäre in no, definitely new. Not with you. Four hundred and five gold Garim. per turn. Holy cow, dude! You've probably got a huge military too. Though I'm probably making a ton of gold because I got like a, over a hundred maintenance. Nowhere near as much as he's making, but still quite a bit. Yeah, 123. I'm losing 219 gold per turn. Wow. The bonuses they get is just nuts. It's nuts. A good rule for rocket nice. experiment rocketry out of a research agreement with Bismarck. I'm going to stop it with them too cuz I don't want them to be too technologically ahead. Sugar to Bismarck has ended. Well, I don't really need gold, so I'm just making sure I have enough gold per turn and enough to rush something if I absolutely have to. And... I don't know. So, Polynesia is getting wiped out by the Spanish now. And we're not going to build the Apollo program. I'm hoping that Isabella will not be able to finish all of the uh, stuff. She, she still has a lot of text to go, I guess. I'm still technically in first, I think, when it comes to technology. Yeah. Let's see... No, not this. Victory progress. Isabella's the only one who's got it. Polynesia is the only threat I have culturally. So cultural victory is probably the safest way to go, as if it was the only type of victory that we could do. And the other sis weren't aware of that and played it exactly like they're doing now. I would definitely win. But seeing as it's not the case... Oh well. Adopt the policy. I only have three more to go, huh? Nice. Or four more to go, excuse me. Let's get, see, strength increased, garrison units, cost no maintenance. Well, I have no garrison units, so let's do it this way. 11 turns to my next policy, so it'll be around 35 turns, so I'll probably win around 50 turns. I was thinking around turn 420. I wish I also that culture from trading off my uh, resources. Could be part of it. Actually, let's take a look inside the city real fast. If I put you on food, your culture drops a ton. If I put you on culture, your culture's good again. That's fine, we'll keep you on culture. I think you're getting more food this way too. No, you're getting the same amount. They're right around the same. <sighs> I 
Da, da, da. So long. At least I'm not freezing, I guess. You're done, huh? Freezing? Yeah, it is kind of mini freezing. Still processing, but. Upgrade to destroyer. Do you not, like, not upgrade? Oh, well, they have tanks already. That's a panzer. That's kind of scary. Next turn. Germany has announced Spain. Oh, are you guys gonna go at it? Yeah, just don't just don't include me. I'll be watching from the sidelines. All right, you. And come up here. And alert. Oh, that's my next policy. Six turns, okay. And yeah, so I'll get six turns, get a free policy with this. I don't have a great engineer, unfortunately. Well, maybe I'll get one in a little bit and get lucky. He's got a tank and a crossbow bin. That's kind of funny. Kind of. Frozen game. Is he coming to kill me? <laughs> I'm gonna die, aren't I? Um, you know what we're actually gonna do? We're gonna slightly change up what we got here. You're coming to here. You are coming here, and you're going there so that you can quickly defend any units, and you are coming to here. It's one, two, three, because you can attack most units that are going to be incoming. I could upgrade you guys, but because you guys are probably going to be sitting still anyway, that's not an issue. I'm rich, everyone else is poor. It's in the Opera House. Default. 14 turns. Same amount of culture. Same amount. Production, less culture, 13 turns. Well, let's put you on default because I think you grow faster. I don't, maybe not. I don't know. I don't really care. And you, what can you actually do? Oh, we're gonna get your engineer. Next turn, yay! Okay, you have two unemployed citizens. How does that work? One in the temple. 
one in the university. Research. Nuclear fission. Here comes Germany. Maybe? The game froze for a second, so I was thinking, like, oh, are they going to attack me? He's got units all along here. Units all coming down. He's got cannons. He's got artillery. He's got all these units here. I don't know if he's trying to defend it because he thinks I'm going to attack. Or what? Let's talk. Let's see what he has to say. Was nun? Somewhat worrisome. Okay, talk to him again and see if he changes. Was nun? Was nun? You sure like talking to me, don't you? <laughs> so they do change. That's kind of funny. Next turn. Get that great engineer. Not quite. You come here, because I'm more worried about these. I have to already have three in this down here. I'm more worried about this one right here. Now let's get to this. Let's get this great engineer now. It's going to be really hard for him to attack me, though. Great artist and great engineer. The great engineer will move over here and shall hurry this construction. Knocks down to one turn. Excellent. And you're going to come over here and steal the uranium. <laughs> okay, you alert here. And next turn. <gasps> he's upgraded. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna kill me. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. Although I think I will have the huge upper advantage because I have a huge defensive position. I have enough naval units to hopefully wipe out anything that he throws at me. That are, or once again, he could just be getting nervous of from me. Uh. Yeah, we can adopt a policy. Merchant Navy. Oh, actually time to choose another one too. Universal suffrage. Uh, ten turns. Okay, ten turns till I get enough to win. Yo, what are you doing? Where's my other worker? Are you closer to that uranium? I'll send you down there like right now. So I want to get that uranium worked. I don't only have one worker. I don't think so. You're there. You're there. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. You get over here. Choose production. Mm, wealth. Set it for ranged. Alert. Next turn. Come on, Germany. You can declare war on me or what? I wonder if he's trying to position his military units, because I've made it so that he practically cannot bombard me at all, and I can bombard him. Awesome! So anyway, I'm going to cut this video off here, so thank you very much for watching, and God bless.